bracelet. Very important bracelet to it. There's no cure yet in sight for Alzheimer's disease, which cripples the brain's power to remember, to recognize, and finally to control a person's motor functions. The disease causes proteins called amyloids to become tangled and build up plaque in the brain, a process so far considered irreversible. But drug manufacturer Eli Lilly is reporting its experimental drug, called SOLA for short, may potentially hinder that process. A follow-up study has concluded that mild patients who started treatment with SOLA early lost cognition and function at a slower rate than similar patients who began taking it later. Secondary analyses suggested that the therapy, the anti-amyloid antibody solanezumab, showed evidence of efficacy in the mild subjects, a subgroup. For some researchers, those findings didn't seem like much of an advance, and Lilly's share price briefly fell on release of the latest data. But the hopes of conquering Alzheimer's remain high. So far, 99% of the tested drugs have failed, but 78 companies around the world are working to arrest, reverse, or prevent the disease. Al, can you lift your leg up and roll your ankle? The U.S. and other governments with an aging population have a lot invested in the fight. Alzheimer's prevalence among baby boomers, the generation now in their 60s and early 70s, will rise dramatically, from about 1% in 2020 to an astonishing 50% when they reach ages 85 and over. As a result, one quarter of the dollars spent by the U.S. Medicare program for seniors will have to be spent on Alzheimer's care. That prospect is spurring the U.S. Congress to boost Alzheimer's basic research spending by more than 50 percent. Private funding is growing, too. We're the largest nonprofit funders in the world, and that kind of investment is so important as a complement as well because that kind of private philanthropy can move quickly and develop opportunities with speed, and that's just what we need. The government's ambitious goal to have an effective treatment for Alzheimer's ready within the next 10 years. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Washington.